Hey, welcome back to uh, Stark Reality Garage. It's a middle of winter and it's a little cold, so uh, I've got the heater running here in the garage. Let's see if I can't keep myself warm while I uh, work on the next uh, fun thing. So uh, I'll show you what I'm going to be doing today. All right, so uh, today I'm going to um, do a, quick, a few quick things for the uh, for the new Yamaha. I uh, one thing that I've noticed is that as a sport bike, this is a little um, the the peg to seat ratio is a little tight for me. I'm six foot four and um, that's, it's just a little snug. Um, this model does not have a two position seat. It's just a single position. I think it was like the next year they introduced one where, they had, you know, where you could change the seat height. Wish I had that, but I don't. So uh, there is a company that makes a special little adapter um, for these pedals so that you can lower the pedals. The challenge is, as you can see, you've got the brake pedal is right underneath this pedal. So it's a real pain in the rear end, so it's pretty specialized. Um, the guys don't, they don't make them anymore, uh, but uh, I got really lucky and uh, found one on uh, Craigslist, a set on Craigslist for sale out in Oregon, and the gentleman was uh, kind enough to send it out to me. So uh, I know there's some other videos out there on these things, um, but uh, they're little adapters like this, and basically they just, you take the, the current pedal off, peg off and, and adapt it with this and this one and uh, that gets you around that brake pedal and then moves it um, so that should give me about another inch or inch and a half or something like that uh, for my legs which will be nice the other thing this gentleman had was uh, this and uh, what this is, is um, it's a little ball and this replaces it replaces this so you take this cap off screw this on and then you have a spot for holding your uh, cell phone or GPS or whatever. I'd be my cell phone that I put on there. So um, yeah, this too. These are pretty, they're kind of expensive for what they are, but, um, and so specialized. Um, so we had both of these and so I got both of these sent to me. Um, the other thing that I ordered, or I had actually my kids got me for Christmas. These are handlebar risers. So this will, um, move the handlebars up and a little bit closer so that you can sit a little more upright and I'm thinking that might make it a little more comfortable as well because it's just really tight. So um, these are not too expensive either. And the last thing I'm going to put on, um, we have our inspection uh, stickers here in, um, in Virginia and they always want to put them on here, which I don't like. Um, so they make these little doohickeys, put this on here and mount it so they can put the little inspection sticker on the plate. I don't think they're supposed to. I think they're supposed to be on a permanent non-removable piece, but I'll see if I can't get them to do that anyways. I've had this for a little while, meaning to use it, and I just haven't. But uh, now that i got the new bike, I'm going to put that on there too. So a little customizing. It's still winter. Can't really ride. Um, and uh, I haven't been to the DMV yet to uh, even uh, do the title and uh, license plates and everything because the lines have been uh, ridiculous for the holidays. But uh, so I'll... Uh, We'll put these things on. There's a number of different videos about these different things, but uh, um, I'm going to whip them on and hopefully they go nice and smooth. All right, so this is just this pin right here is held on. Hold this on, it has just a little cotter pin. And then this should just push right out. And there goes the spring. <laughs> I was going to say, the other trick is to make sure the spring doesn't go anywhere. Mine just shot over there. So pretty easy to get it off. And then we can mount this one on and it'll push it out here to the side and down quite a bit. So we'll work on getting that in with this bolt. <clears throat> All right, so I got it on here. Your pedal mounts with the screw on the little post there so that this can mount up just like normal. You got the spring um, in there, pins through, and it still can move. Um, if you hit the ground, it still will push up. Everything still lines up. It's nice and flat and straight. The only challenge will be that your brake pedal is now not in line anymore it's kind of in so i'll have to see if they're comfortable with that or i know some people have just done a little bend to push this out a little bit so we'll see as time goes if that you know how that works out but that's just about that simple i just need to tighten this up now and uh, put the cotter pin back in and uh, good to go got that's quite a bit of difference so hopefully it'll be a little more comfortable all right, so I got this one on on this side too. Obviously, this is the kind of the smaller bracket because there's nothing in the way here for this one. Um, you know, bolt through the cotter pins. The hardest part, getting to it, fiddling with it. Um, but they're in there pretty, pretty quick and easy. So let me try it out and see how they feel. 
Okay, so this is a big difference. You wouldn't think that that would be that big a difference, but it is actually huge. So now the trick though, the gears I don't think will be too hard to break. That's a little different. That's definitely a little challenging to get to. So we'll see on the brake, on that rear brake pedal. That's tough, the, but the gears, not, not as tough, so, because you can get your foot in tight there, so that'll be going to be a little easier. But this brake is definitely going to be challenged, so we'll see when I get to riding it if I need to make an adjustment there. All right, so the next thing is this little plate for putting your uh, inspection tag on. I wanted to put it up here and have it kind of wrap around right here with this little corner, but it just won't fit. The, it, it's too tight here and it's too tight on the reflector. Same thing here, but I could do it straight down. So I've got it straight down there. I don't think it's gonna get in the way of anything, um, but it'll keep me from putting the sticker on my post there. Hopefully they will be willing to do that. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and uh, so the other thing I, I did, I put on a, um, a quick charger um, cable onto my new battery. So tuck that in there. I think I also am gonna need to figure out a, uh, a USB since there's no charging ports on this thing. So we'll see about that. I'll figure something out. They make them with these connectors so you can do that. So I might do something like that, but we'll see. So uh, next to uh, my uh, bar risers. Okay, so one of the uh, fun things my wife got me this for Christmas. It's like a little rubber mat kind of thing that will sit and stick and you can throw your stuff like these little caps. So these little caps are, there's little plastic caps on top of these hex bolts um, on top. So pluck those off. Now I got somewhere to put them so I don't lose them. Worst thing in the world in the garage is to lose these things. And then uh, we'll use some hexes and we'll lift these up. Okay, so pretty straightforward for getting this out. I mean, little six millimeter uh, hex bolts. They uh, plop right out, it's nice and flat. Um, you get the new little risers, got an R on it so you know which side it goes on. The weird thing is it kind of, you think it would go kind of like this, but really what it does, it turns quite a bit like this. So it moves the handlebar back closer to you and rises it up. So um, kind of does double duty. And then it comes with a new set of bolts. So we'll mount this with the new bolts. We'll mount the handlebar back on top with the old bolts. And uh, we'll be able to kind of see the difference between the two, which will be kind of nice, so. All right, so I definitely put Loctite on. Um, I figure these are my handlebars, you gotta be careful. Um, and then um, put these three in loosely and then make sure they're all nice and lined up. They're all going in straight and then tighten them down nice and snug. Again, it's just hand tight. I don't know if there's any torque spec or anything. Um, so now I'll do the same, some uh, Loctite and uh, we'll Get these on the nice thing you don't have to uh, get new cables you don't have to reconnect anything it certainly will pull them a little bit you know you will tug on them a little bit to get them straightened up but shouldn't be a problem and uh, then we can play and see what the difference is all right so this might be a little hard to see but i kind of realized if you get back here at the back of the bike and look you can see the difference this one's uh, obviously lower than that one and this one's uh, a little closer to me that right now the steering wheel is complete or the steering uh, is completely square to the front so it definitely is more comfortable i gotta say you're more upright look at that you got that height difference that you're adding on there and it's bringing it back towards you so when i sit on it my hands are are back farther they're still at the same right angle um certainly at a good angle but they're just back and up so you can sit up straight a little bit better and which along with those pegs is going to make a big difference in making it more comfortable for me again all right so i got the both risers mounted very much I would say much more comfortable just sitting on it, much more upright position, a little more sit back, which then makes your legs more comfortable as well. So last thing, and you probably know, may have noticed, I just pulled it off. Um, you pull this little, uh, this nut uh, cap off and I can replace it with this one, which has the ball mount. Um, now this is a 36 millimeter. So that's a pretty specific uh, size and there's not a lot of room here. I probably should have taken it off while I had there's not a lot of room here, so I probably should have taken this off while I had these off. But I've got a socket. I have a 36 millimeter socket. This just screws back in. And I got my big old socket. This is uh, something I use on the Jeep. And then I'll tighten that down and then put the ball on it. And uh, we'll have a little nice little mount there as well. 
All right, so then just like that, the ball mounts on, pretty simple. The little ball mount itself is held on with a little uh, Allen key, little pin, and then this just mounts on the ball. Um, this is not RAM ball size, but apparently you can get RAM ball adapters for this, so you can use RAM ball things, but this came with this little plate, which will work great for my phone. It's really kind of all I need these days, and uh, it'll be set to go. All right, so some uh, pretty simple little updates for the FJR before I, uh, before spring gets here and I start riding it seriously, figure I get these things done and out of the way. And uh, hey, it's it's a tribute to Craigslist. You know, I found I find a lot of things on Craigslist. You got to spend some time. You got to do some hunting. I used all Craigslist um, site to search the whole country and uh, found uh, the uh, peg mounts and the uh, the phone mount uh, from a gentleman out in Oregon. And, uh, you know, he wanted 80 bucks for him. I said, hey, I'll pay 80 bucks if you'll just ship it all to me. And it uh, worked out just fine. That's significantly cheaper, especially because the peg mounts aren't even made anymore. You can't get them. Um, but even that's that's about what you'd pay for the two mounts uh, uh, as well. So and the, and the handlebar risers, there's some people that make them um, and they're pretty expensive. Um, I, I got them off eBay. They were like 60 bucks. So really, you can personalize a bike. Um, without spending too much money and um, and it's all reversible so I can take it all off and if I want to I can take it right back to stock which is an important thing too so thanks for watching hopefully before too long we'll be out riding there's probably other things I'm going to want to do to the bike I don't do a lot of customizing on my motorcycles but um, you know a few little things for comfort are, are a good thing so um, we'll see you next time thanks for watching and uh, well maybe we'll have some MR2 updates coming pretty soon thanks bye